we're not just a fabrication that this is, oh, we want this place, you know. Understand that they were here for whatever reasons. We were exiled out of Israel, but, uh, you know, we, we were given the opportunity to come back. Now, this was an incredible fabrication on Steve's part. The notion that the Palestinians had only lived on this land for two generations was totally false. But the idea that Jews had a historic claim to the West Bank's territories that trumped any Palestinian claims was one I'd hear over and over in the next few days, and turned out to be a major part of the settler ideology that ran directly counter to the two-state solution plan. We saw off to the side of the road this group of Palestinians, but they're being watched over by Israeli security forces, so we're wondering what's going on here. هذه أرض لمزارعين من قرية كفر لاكف اليوم صباحا تواجد هذه المستوطنين قاعدين بيشتغلوا في الأرض هاي توجهنا إلهم شو ليش أنتوا فايتين عليها وهي مش أرضهم يعني هي أرض لمواطنين عنا من القرية وكل نحن نبحث عن أثار وعن شغلات زي هيك يعني في في الأرض تمهيدا لأنه يبدو عليها أو يصادروها. It turns out Israel had mobilized its army to allow an Israeli archaeological team to dig up a field. The Palestinian villagers weren't happy because they saw it as the first step in the expansion of a nearby settlement. This is totally crazy because this is an archaeological dig being carried out by the Israeli authorities in the West Bank. And this is how many soldiers you need in order to protect this uh, archaeological excavation. But what's even more nuts is that the Palestinians are doing the manual labor. So the, the Israelis have hired Palestinians to do an illegal excavation in the Palestinian territories. This is our land, mm -hmm. our land of uh, 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 Jewish, uh, of Am Israel, you know, uh, Am Israel come back to, the, to our land. <laughs> and if the Arabs want, they can go to uh, Syria or to Egypt. This land, it's for the Jewish people from all the world, okay? Our uh, parents live here about uh, 2,000 uh, years ago, and we come back to what is this place? What is the significance of this site? But they're on the wrong side of the green line for doing archaeological digs. No? I mean, I'm just asking if that's correct. I don't know. Are you recording? I don't know. I don't know. No picture to me. So those soldiers really didn't want me to talk to the Palestinians who are apparently upset about this archaeological dig taking place here. The reason they're upset is because a lot of times when the Israelis do an archaeological dig, they then build a sort of memorial around any Jewish artifacts that they find and it becomes a place of pilgrimage for the settlers who come here and then, you know, bit by bit, the Palestinians feel that they're losing even more land. Does it make you angry that most of the international community agrees with the Palestinians and that you shouldn't be in the West Bank? Have you personally had any problems with Israeli police? Demolition of a Palestinian's house. I'll be happy to do it. That'll be my dream. Would it be really stupid of me to say that the Canaanites were here before Israel? Maybe their descendants can claim to have more rights you than Jews. You see the Canaanites and the Canaanim now? You see them anywhere? No, I'm just trying to make a them. point that, you know, history moves in many places in many different history ways. History moves. The Jewish people, again, the Jewish people didn't move a millimeter. But even Israel says this isn't your property. I feel sorry for the government that they feel that they still in Poland and Germany. And they think, Oi, Obama, Oi, we are afraid of Obama. We are afraid of all the rest of the world. We are not in 1945 anymore. That's it. No Jew is going into the burning places anymore. That's it. Finish. Done. Is it true that settlers sometimes attack a Palestinian village as a reprisal against the Israeli police destroying a settler's house? Uh, I heard about those things, but as a settler, I... Land Day demonstrations like this one were taking place all around the West Bank and along the borders of Israel in Syria, Lebanon, and in Gaza, where one of the protesters, just 20 years old, was shot dead as he approached an Israeli crossing. But I'd heard that Palestinian demonstrators weren't the only ones in the habit of throwing stones. So I headed to an ordinary Palestinian town, a bit further away from all the commotion, 
to hear their side of the story. He showed us videos he'd taken himself of the settler attacks, where you could see youths come down from the settlement above the village to throw stones. The worst thing about it was that they were accompanied by the Israeli army, who were supposedly there to separate the two groups, but were in fact doing nothing to stop the settler attack. A few weeks after we visited Asira al Kiblia, the settler attacks resumed, but this time two Palestinian villagers who were throwing stones and approaching Jewish youths were shot by the settlers with live ammunition during two separate attacks. Both times, the Israeli army did nothing to restrain the settlers. Fortunately, though, both men survived. I spoke to one of the residents to find out how she felt about the impending demolition. Do you sympathize with Palestinian people who also see their houses get demolished uh, under Israeli bulldozers? I see it from another point of view. The, I think it's a different story. Here, nobody killed anyone. Israel is destroying a, a house for Palestinians. It's not for no reason. Most of the times, even for, even uh, it's because they did a very wrong thing, like people killing people and other things. The story here is that the families did nothing. It's not that I, I don't feel sorry, I do, but I more feel sorry about my own people that sit under attacks every day and we see it all the time. With so many settlements being built up on the future territory of the Palestinian state, you start to wonder if Israel is working to make the two-state solution a reality, or if it's just telling the international community what it wants to hear. The more Israelis move to the West Bank, the less viable a Palestinian state seems to be. So the real question becomes whether Palestinians will end up citizens of a greater Israel with equal rights, or if they face a permanent regime of occupation.